Melbourne's soaring house prices are likely to jump at least another 5% before the market finally slows down. And if you buy in the right suburbs, experts say you'll never lose money. Michelle Pritchard wants to move from Bentley East to Beau Morris to be closer to her children's school. She's been looking for eight months and is staggered at what's happening in the market. The very first weekend that we went looking and I walked in and I was so depressed and my husband said, are you kidding me? It's week one. <laughs> and even though she wants to sell in the same market, it's overwhelming. What do we do? Do we sell first? Do we buy first? Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's very difficult. <laughs> Melbourne's median house price is now just under $700,000. In suburbs like Michelle's, it's much higher. The buyer um, hunger and buyer numbers are through the roof. We just need more to sell them. And most experts are predicting prices will keep going up. Until interest rates start to rise again, uh, we think there's potential probably for a little more price growth to still come through. Experts say house prices are high for a range of reasons. Record low interest rates, a doubling of foreign investment, an acute shortage of houses and people wanting to get into the market before it goes even higher. Some say it simply can't last. The prices are, are way beyond where if you look at what historically prices have done, um, they're way beyond where they, they should be. But Angie Zygamanis believes even when interest rates start to go up again, only the very top and very bottom of the market will go backwards. He says the best suburbs to buy are those 10 to 20 kilometres from the city, like Glen Waverley, Bentley, Cheltenham and in the north, Northcote and Thornbury. There are certain things that will never change in great suburbs. That's proximity to the city, um, transport, parks, shops schools. The one area BIS Shrapnel says investors should be cautious is the apartment market. Thousands are being built in and around the CBD but not all of them, especially the smaller ones, will hold their value. Meaning Michelle Pritchard's long hunt for a new house is worth it. I am looking forward to that being over. Laurel Irving, 7 News.